As Ukraine keep hitting Antonovsky Bridge with HIMARS rocket, Russia is trying to open up a new path over the river, making a new platoon bridge which makes it possible to transfer much heavier equipment across. As in the beginning of the war, Russia could transfer almost unlimited number of heavy equipment. But since Ukraine has been able to use GMLRS rocket, this has been reduced down to more or less zero. Russia keeps repairing Antonovsky bridge to make the passage for lighter vehicle possible. It seems most heavy equipment are not able to cross, which makes for a major problem for Russia in the long haul as they cannot replenish lost equipment on the other side of Dnieper river as fast as they may lose it. Russia has created a ferry close by to a much smaller but steady stream of equipment traveling over. Also during repairs after attacks as all traffics are stopped temporarily. But as Russia needs to increase the resources passing over the river, the placement of the platoon bridge may at first seem like a great position, but in actuality it's a major mistake. Russia placed the platoon bridge just next or almost under Antonovsky bridge. This has three major added benefits. The first is logistic, as Russia already have their supply chain here, with connecting roads making passage before and after much easier. Secondly is the support the platoon bridge can utilize. As the river wants to pull the platoon bridge downstream, you need support along the river that can either be done by boats pushing back, or in this case pillars of Antonovsky bridge. Lastly is the cover of the platoon bridge by Antonovsky bridge. Russia is building it on the eastern side being more greatly covered by Antonovsky bridge as HIMARS rockets are coming more common from the west. So why is this platoon bridge such a bad idea? The Dnieper river at Antonovsky bridge is almost one kilometer long, so it takes some time to build up this platoon bridge. It seems they have come around halfway, needing a lot of time and resources to achieve this. The problem becomes due to Ukraine's capability. A platoon bridge should either be built as a temporary solution to quickly transport vehicle or if the cross point is secure. Russia doesn't seem to fulfill either of these points. Ukraine is most likely waiting out Russia before making a more targeted attack, making the loss as big as possible for Russia. A platoon bridge is made of section of floating structure that are connected together meaning they are not meant to take damage, as puncturing one section could have a ripple effect on the whole bridge, where it rips the bridge apart. Russia have anchored the bridge to the pillars, but will have a disabled bridge with a single hit at best and possibly taken out completely at worst. As they are floating structure, they are mostly hollow structure with no greater armament, if Ukraine would not have the accuracy or long enough hit range, the bridge could be safe. But as seen after many attacks, the hit accuracy is within a few meters. Now even if Antonovsky bridge completely covers the platoon bridge, which it doesn't, the rocket penetrates through the bridge most of the time, especially when several are hit within a small area. But the problem for Russia becomes that Ukraine still can move their high Mars so that Antonovsky bridge no longer cover the platoon bridge. Add this to the fact that Antonovsky bridge already have become one of Ukraine's favorite target to hit. At current time Ukraine has hit the opposite side of Antonovsky bridge compared to the platoon bridge. Russia could read something into this that Ukraine is not actively trying to target the platoon bridge yet. What's even worse is that if Ukraine just keep attacking Antonovsky bridge like they have, when the platoon bridge is done it's most likely would be hit out of secondary effect. So to build a temporary bridge that could be very easy taken out with a few hits just next to a bridge that have been hit multiple times and can't be officially protected by SAM system is a disaster waiting to happen. Question becomes if Ukraine will take out the bridge before it's completed, 
or waiting for a bigger attack when a lot of resources are next, waiting for transport over, to possibly hit this as well. What do you guys think? That's all I have for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.